have this chart, the number that belongs to you in the zero or tenth column is 794 instead of 992. 992 appears twice in that column on your chart. So change the last one, which will be near the bottom on your sheet. It's on your left, I hope. It's on the left on your sheet. From 992 to 794. <clears throat> These are the numbers that you're playing with. There are only nine numbers in a zero. They are the parents of these three-digit numbers and all the rest of the enormous amount of appearance of numbers. This can be used as a contemplative chart. The number is often interconnected in its natural chronology from one to nine. Uh, 814 played the other day. The couplet 14 was right there. I forget what played before, but it's kind of just hooked up, and it's often hooked up. The angle of viewing in this technique is with the triangle. Seven seven zero, you should also play seven zero zero. That's the other part of seven seven zero. Every double has a counterpart. You always play the counterpart with a double because theoretically it's the same number. With a double, only two numbers are playing, but one doubles. There are only 90 doubles on planet Earth. If you catch a double straight for a dollar, if they're going to play with the same 500 to 1 odds as you do in Ohio and other states, that's $600. Theoretically, you could play all 90 doubles for $90 and win $510 if you catch it straight. <laughs> if you don't, you just get your money back. There are only ten triplets. You never play a triplet. You play all ten of them. For well, fifty cents, cost you uh, five bucks. For well, a dollar <coughs> straight, cost you ten dollars. That's better than playing triple twos and triple threes fall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is an important minor chart. I want you to duplicate this at home and put it somewhere where it becomes visible, just as I advise you to put your chart on this on a bigger face like this and 
put it somewhere where everybody in the house can see it, including Junior, who might one day walk up and say, Daddy, look. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> okay. uh, it, it happens like that. It happens like that. Those are the 90 doubles. All of the parts are there. In other words, 199, which is the one column, has 991. Which is what column? Anybody give me one of the quick quits here. Uh, Don't look there, you're supposed to look here. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you get to find the number in the column? You add them up. All right. Well, you should have been doing that here. Mm -hmm. Get it here. Yeah. While you're walking down the street, you can put this stuff together. Don't to do that. It's not difficult. This is very important because it does two things. It, it helps you win money. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it dissolves the phobia that the Eurocentric American educational system has tabbed mathematics. Every child learns geometry when they pick up a ball, a block, and a stick. But nobody tells them it's geometry. They tell them it's their toys. If children like a ball, then they would like a circle. If they like a block, then they would like a square and a cube. If they only do that. If they like a stick, then they would like the line. There's only the circle and the line in creation. That's all there is. How brilliant our creator is <laughs> with a circle and a line. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that, you, you got that. You got that. Next step. Oh, did anybody come up with a 970? Uh, is anybody close? The 7 came back. Anybody? We calculated the wrong number, thanks to our sister over there on the camera. <laughs> Bless her heart. Uh, she pushed uh, in, and then she's supposed to immediately push Y for New York. But she didn't. She hesitated, so NE registered, and we had, uh, no, we had, uh, New England, yes, we had New England's number, which was interesting. It was 057, uh, 047, and uh, New York was 057. <laughs> it's very interesting, isn't it? Okay. okay, this is the number that fell last night. If this will stay up here. Thank you. Those are the three columns. 111, 137, uh, one, two, three, one, three, seven. Okay. If you don't want to write it all down, just write down the number, then when you get home, you can do it. But I want you to take shots of this. You, you too, Isaac. <laughs> uh, it's good practice. You want to get your mental and intuitive chemi chem chemistry turned on to this, but you want to control it, as, as I mentioned last time. This can become an obsession, but it's better than smoking crack. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at the second part where some folks got a bit confused. So, is anybody writing this down or not? You're writing it down? Okay, all right, okay. Know what you're doing and just don't write it down. This is adding one number to each one of these to get the next set of numbers. 7, 8, 9, 10, back to 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, and back to 3, 6, 7, 8, so forth, back to 6. Here it is 1, 2, 3. One number 7 to 7. 2 and 3 is 5. 2 and 5 is 7. 2 and 7 is 9. 2 and 9 is 11. 2 and 11 is, uh, two and, uh, 1 is 3. 2 and 3 is 5. So forth, you're back to 3. The way you know your chart is right, the number that's up here will be the final number out of 11 movements, which is the vibration of revelation, will reappear. Okay. It's that simplistic. For the second part in getting the numbers of accumulation, and here, let me put this on the camera. They, they couldn't see this on the last 
Now, you, you got to zoom in there. Where's our, our master cameraman? Is he back there asleep or eating lunch? Sure, baby. Okay, well, that's good. Have fun, my brother. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to show how to get these numbers here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we extract these from this group of numbers. Okay? Everybody got this down? Okay, well, all you, well I'm going to erase it because all you need is this. And the fact that this is 111, one, one, this is the number at the top of your chart. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the brother that did his chart it was Friday, and, and this is until Saturday, 736. Interesting stuff. <laughs> that, that happens quite often. I mean, it's just remarkable how that happens. It will also happen for you. Okay, I'm going to put this back up on the board here. should be able to get this. Well, I'm devoid of all technological skills. <laughs> Surely I can handle there we go. Okay, thank you. Okay. The number being 736. 847. 958. Those are the first three numbers. Always take the middle number to make this accumulation. Three and eight, the next one, three and nine, and then oh, 69. Three and eight, 38. Three and nine, 39. Then these two numbers, the second number and the third number, 45, whatever it, that number is. And then the third number, three and nine, uh, excuse me, three and zero. Then you count backwards three times, 27, 16, 05, 28, 17, 06. Are you writing this down? I'm not going to do this every week. Okay, I'm just going to do it once or twice. 34, 23, 12. 29, 18, 07. Then you reach and get the accumulations of those numbers. How many ones? One, two, three, four. Four ones. How many twos? One, two, three, four, five. Five twos. How many threes? One, two, three, four, five threes. How many fours? One, two fours. How many fives? One, two, two fives. Sixes. One, two, two sixes. Sevens. One, two, three. Three sevens, eights, one, two, three, three eights. How many nines? One, two, two nines, zero, one, two, three, four, four zeros. That's your accumulation. What's that on, on that second line? Is that two sevens? This line here? No, go up. Two yeah, sevens? two sevens, yes. Okay, then you got three sevens right up under that. So oh, okay. Two sixes. Two sixes then. Okay, two three. sixes. Two sixes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, much. Two sixes and three sevens. Is that right? Seven. One, three. two, three. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, much. Okay, very good. Okay, that's your setup. Okay. 
once you get, well, okay, once you get that, you look to see out of practice how the numbers are flowing. The number five represents the number of change. My suspicion is one of these numbers would play. But the first thing I do is I look at to see how many sevens, sevens, three of them, how many sixes, and how many threes, five threes. So immediately, my intent would be to use three as the lead number to track the whole of each column with the three and extract each number as you would with here, you'd move the three down to make 837. You'd move the eight up to make 836, which is a fast number. And you'd move the seven up to make 737. Wherever else you would find a three, you do likewise. Move it up and move it down. Then move the other numbers to that three or that six, whatever your gained or decided lead number is. Okay. Got that one clear? Okay. Now we're going to the tit-tac-toe system, part of the system. It's two parts. This is the upside. This is the downside. You start counting from here, from your right hand corner square on both of them. Going up six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Just fill in the gaps. Then, then you do the same thing on the downside, going in reverse. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, zero. That's how numbers move. Okay. okay, then you look to see what's missing. That's all right. That, 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 that happens. I'm going west. <laughs> okay, what's missing here? One, two, three, the four, and the five. I'm missing on this side. They're not in the tic-tac-toe on the upside. So you put them low. I usually write it in red to make it conspicuous. And you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eight and the nine are not inside the tic-tac-toe. Then you look here at the numbers extracted, very important. The numbers that are not there often play. Something I, I discovered on my own, it's not in anybody's book. Discovered on my own. The numbers that are outside of the tic-tac-toe are the numbers, or at one of the numbers that are active. The verification of that is to go to the top line to find out what numbers here are on the top line. The secret is this. Almost 25% of the time, which is not very much, the entire number will be on the top line. The entire number will be on the top line. You gotta search for it, but you search with a chosen lead number. That's important so you don't get lost and frustrated. In other words, if your lead number is three, keep three. Three's up there. The eight and nine is up there. And the four is up there. So your first uh, set of, everybody got this down? Yeah. Okay, we got this little small board to work with, so I'm going to have to erase it.